Hey guys, great to see everybody. Hope y'all have had an awesome weekend. We're gonna be going over Monday's workout. But first, I just want y'all to take a few seconds tomorrow. Please make sure you honor the fallen. With them guys, we have the freedom to do what we do right now. So tomorrow you're probably gonna be hanging out with some family. You might just stay home, cook some dinner, maybe barbecue outside. But without these people that have stood for our country, that's died for our country, you would never have that right. So just, if you get a few seconds, just bow your head, you know, thank God because those people that sacrifice where you don't have to. So enjoy the day, enjoy the family time that you might have, but still don't forget why we have it, all right? So let's go over the workout today. It's gonna to be like a mini Murph, all right? It's four time. If you don't know who, what Murph is, it's a big CrossFit workout. I, I would um, encourage you to go Google just Michael Murphy and go read up on the story. It's a story of someone that fallen that gave you the freedom to do what you're doing right now. So, but we're gonna do what's called like a mini Murph at home. So it's four time, I want you to do a one mile run. So before you get started this workout, please make sure you go mark off something where one mile. You can do four 400s, two 800s if you need to, but make sure it's a one mile run. If you have a treadmill, you can jump on that also. After your one mile run, you're gonna go directly into 20 rounds. So I'd highly recommend to have a little whiteboard, knock out 20 dashes, so every round you do, you can wipe it off, or at least somewhere every time you do a round, you can mark it off so you get 20 rounds in. The first movement will be five strict push-ups. So we'll go feet together, shorter with the hands. We're gonna have a nice, go all the way down, chest touch the ground, press all the way up to full extension for our strict push-up. If you feel like you couldn't keep up with five reps, let's just go to our knees, chest on the ground, still all the way down, and all the way up. After our five push-ups, we'll roll to the ground, and we'll knock out 10 bent knee sit-ups. So we got our feet together, go all the way down, touch the ground, bring it up, squeeze at the top, touch those toes. If you can't reach the toes, that's fine. Still, let's try to reach for those knees and get us up as high as we can. After our 10 sit-ups, we're gonna stand all the way up for 15 air squats, all right? So there's no equipment needed for this workout, so you should be, everybody should be able to do it. Shoulder width of feet, chest up, nice tall, nice tall chest, hips open. Make sure we get that full squat and then stand all the way up for me, all right? Butt back, knees out, and then all the way down, all the way up. If you need to, if you feel like this is a little too low, get a chair, get something behind you, make sure that you stay balanced and you don't go too low. But I still need 15 good air squats. So you'll do 20 rounds of that directly into a one mile run. This is a very long workout, so I would allot at least 30 to 60 minutes of your day to this workout. Now we do this in CrossFit to honor the fallen, so this is why you might wanna do this workout. If you're like, man, that's tough, you need a little bit of motivation, I'm giving you the motivation right now. It's because we're trying to honor the people that have fallen. So this is gonna be, a, it's a good workout. You're gonna get, you're gonna sweat a lot. So make sure you hydrate before it. Make sure you eat pretty clean. I would stay away from the alcohol because it's gonna, it's gonna be a very tough workout, but I know you can do it. I know those people that went across seas and fought for our country or, or even fought um, inland, they probably had tough times and probably were like, oh, I don't wanna do this. It's gonna be tough, but no matter what, they still came through and that's why our country is where it's at. So please guys do this workout, post your comments, I want, I want you to see some uh, the times, I want to see some pictures. If you have any questions on how to modify this workout to make it a little bit easier, just let me know and I'll tell you what to do. So y'all have a wonderful Monday. Happy Memorial Day. Keep going and growing. Have a great day.